Well, what we've been doing uh, this summer, uh, really thanks to the Swartz Creek uh, School District, you know, their administration, uh, the principal, and the staff here for the six through eight summer program, is they've allowed Luna to come up, even though she's only one, to come up here every day from about nine o'clock till about one, Monday through Thursday for six weeks. Uh, if we had not been allowed to do that, that would have really set back our high school training, which is what we're geared up for. And this has allowed us to, you know, to have six weeks of training you know, in a class uh, to get a one-year-old puppy calm enough to be around people and not get excited. Uh, once we get to the high school, uh, typically in prior years we actually sat in classes unless we were needed for some type of therapy intervention kind of remains to be seen if Luna will be able to actually sit in a class for an hour we may spend a lot of time just in the hallways being accessible as students you know change class you know our goal in training Luna is just to have a dog accessible to the students and staff at the high school so if they're having a bad day you know, again, I think it's a medical fact that if, if you like dogs, uh, if you're upset over whatever you're upset about, if you pet a dog, your heart rate slows down, your breathing slows down, you can kind of focus on the problem. I mean, the dog can't really help you, you know, solve the problem, but it can have you calm down. And of course, you know, Buster and, and Luna are excellent listeners. I mean, you can tell a dog anything and the dog will take that secret to the grave. So our goals are the same, just to give the students and staff at the high school a resource to have a, just a little better day. Maybe it's just passing Luna in the hallway, just petting her, saying good morning and saying, okay, hey, I can, I can move on to my next hour of class.